Okay, hi everyone. So I am officially going to take you guys on a tour of my office for the past six months. We are moving very soon, so I am parting ways with this office, but very excitingly, it looks like I'll be able to have enough space in our next place to have a sort of office space book no kind of thing in one room like i do here so just wanted to give you guys a quick tour now that i am likely all moved out by the time you're seeing this video um and just introduce you guys to my little space so without further ado let's get started with the office tour so we're gonna start with the corner of the room that's immediately to the right when you walk in the door the door is right there um, and directly to the right is a couple of bookshelves on this left bookshelf we have memorabilia and keepsakes and then on this shelf i have a bunch of games and cds the printer and all of our papers and documents are below that um, and then on this shelf this is all of the books that i've read all of my books in this house are pretty much in one room now um, so all of the books that i've read well most of the books that i've read are on this bookshelf so this is my little book nook area. This is a cute little leather chair that actually leans back. It's super comfortable and I could actually sleep in it if I wanted to. I just have a blanket there and my reading pillow when I actually do read. And then again, as you can see, my bookshelf is behind it. Um, on the air conditioning unit, I just have a couple of puzzles that I haven't done yet. Um, there's a framed picture that I'm going to put up in our new place. Uh, as well as some documents from school and then some of our music stuff because in this corner is all of our music stuff. So my partner plays the bass and I play the guitar. We have a bass amp and a couple of guitar amps and then a mess of pedals and wires and whatnot because we don't have a lot of space so there's uh, some poor wire organization going on over here. Uh, especially for a small space, these really tiny amps that we have do a really good job and uh, we love playing when we have time. So right next to that we have a little white bookshelf that I actually got fairly recently from a secondhand store. It was only $5 so it was a really good steal. Um, on the top here we have all of my charms and I'll show you guys a close up in a second. But this is where I have all of like my fandom charms and whatnot and then I have a stand for my laptop and then some clipboards, my iPad, and other things that I want to keep sort of on hand but not necessarily on my desk. My TBR slash currently reading shelf is this first shelf right here and then I just have some uh, trash keys and then a box lunch bag. Um, and then these bottom two shelves are actually all books that I'm currently selling on my Pango books. And then right in front of the white bookshelf, I just have a plastic white chair that I've had forever and my little Gengar Build-A-Bear plush. Um, I sit here when I play guitar, so that's why there's a chair there. And finally, we are now getting to my desk setup, which is probably what a lot of people have been anticipating. Uh, so this is my desk. It is made of two different desks that I have. One is against the wall and then one is like sideways here to make an L-shaped. Um, and I'm just gonna go counterclockwise and show you guys all the things on my desk. So underneath the desk is some really awful cable management and then a small trash can. There are little shelves right here on this desk and I actually keep all of my shipping supplies as well as uh, extra electronics for my iPad and laptop. So since I got a lot of requests for a desk tour, I thought I would specifically go into exactly what's in or around my desk. So again, starting off with this little scrap jar. This is just a pasta jar that I've put washi tape over and labeled. Um, and it just keeps all of my paper scraps in there. And then on my acrylic drawers, this first set has all of my traveler's notebooks as well as some folders for stickers. This first drawer has some page flags and all of my stamps. And then this drawer has more stamps and my ink pads as well as some aliens washi tape and then this bottom drawer has all of my acrylograph markers in it um, they're best stored laying flat so i like to keep them in a drawer and then for these pen stands i just have separated them into pen type essentially so i have all of my colored pencils, all of my zebra click arts, my Nepal signos, 
Sailor Shikiori brush pens, Stabila Pen 68s, Pilot Emots, Marvila pens, Pentel Energels, and then Razor, Pilot Razor Point? What are these called? Pilot Razor Point. These are all Pilot Razor Points. Um, and then at the bottom, I just have smaller paraphernalia, so some extra staples, another mini stapler. Um, my favorite metal clip goes in here. Eraser, washi tape cutter, another stapler. Um, in this little box, I have all of my bookmarks. So all of my bookmarks that I bought from small shops or from uh, indie bookstores. In these acrylic drawers, I have mostly stickers and other journaling paraphernalia. So my loose leaf stickers are in here. So my smaller sticker sheets are in here. I used to have a lot more bigger sticker sheets, but they would go in here. And then I have some notepads and sticky notes in here. And then here are my Cerec Studio washi tapes, as well as some of the washi tapes I reach for the most often. I'm moving on. So in my little otter pencil case, the head holds my glue tape and my whiteout. And then I have like non-journaling sort slash like non-pen supplies, I guess, non-writing utensils. So I have a lighter, um, a wick trimmer, some brushes for painting, a ruler, uh, my bone folder, and scissors. Right next to that, I have all of my bigger markers, so all of my Tombows and my Is It Clean Dot, as well as a ruler, my metal ruler. And that's in another pasta jar covered with uh, washi tape. In this old candle jar, I have all of my pencils. Um, these are the two drinkwares that I got from Kawaii Con. So this is from Sekai Art and then Risk It Design. I have all of my journals back here. So this is my therapy journal, my Archer and Olive, um, my MD journal, my two sticker books, an old moleskin, um, the Kumulipo and my lunar calendar, my Rhodia, and my Minute Manager are all here. And then moving on to all the stuff I got on my monitor risers. So I have all of my stationery that's not in the pen stands over here in like old candle jars or old sake jars because they're super cute. So all of my brush pens are in here. All of my black pen slash one blue pen is in here. <laughs> um, all of my Zebra Satista Vintage. My multi pens are in this Sunstar Del Day pouch. All of my highlighters that are actually highlighters and then my mild liners because mild liners aren't really highlighters. And then I have a washi tape stand. It's an acrylic stand. I will link the creator down below because I can't remember their name off the top of my head. And then in front of my monitor, I have a little lens cleaner that is ghost Pokemon themed. My AirPods, some rings, another lighter, two lip balms, hand cream and my favorite fountain pen that's still inked little teddy bear scrunchie um, and then my little little guys collection um, I love how they all match in theme here's a little fortune cookie thing that I still like to look at for some reason um, this is a glass vial of agates that my friend bought me back from Minnesota. You can actually see like all the different ways that agates form in this one jar, which is really cool. Um, a little Hilda acrylic stand, my favorite washi tape, my elephant tape, and then a bunch of notepads for taking notes. And there's my monitor, my keyboard, my mouse, and my dirty desk mat that needs to be cleaned. If anyone has tips on cleaning this, please let me know. Then I have my chair. It's just a regular old chair from Office Max. And it has my hoodie on it. There's actually a pillow underneath this desk because Diego likes to sleep there sometimes. I have a stack of drawers underneath this desk um, just for more storage because this apartment is small and there's not a lot of storage. Right next to the desk, I have a metal shelf that actually hosts my computer. So this big black box on top is my computer. I've got my Delphonics pouch and my headphones on top, um, some stationery below, and then even more stationery over there. 
because if you know me, I have tons of stationery. There's a lamp in front of the closet. Um, it's a good old lamp, nothing special about it. And then I have my custom Metallica flannel shirt hanging. It's a really cool thing to have in the backdrop, even though it does have an electric chair on it. And last but not least, I have my TBR bookshelf, which you've seen a bunch of times, but it's changed and moved since you last saw it probably. Um, so on top here, I have my CD player. It's a five disc CD player and then two speakers. Um, this is Bodhi. Her name is Bodhi. We love her. Um, and then on top, I just have my favorite album. So all of the main albums essentially. And then stuff that I will take with me because I have all of my bags here. So when I'm leaving the house, I go over here and I grab things like I'll grab my wallet or I'll grab my sunglasses um, or my water bottle. Yeah, so I have bags hanging on the sides here, either side. And then I always have my the Aces bag on display. And then of course, you guys know my TBR shelf. Um, it hasn't changed much besides that I've read books and bought more books. So that's it for my office tour. I have no idea how long this is actually going to be. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, I'm very grateful and happy that I was able to have this whole room to myself, especially this last semester with me teaching and finishing up my master's degree and everything. Um, and I think it really came together towards the end. I will say though that it still doesn't really feel like home. We've been here for over a year and it still never really felt like, okay, this is like our, our house, our home. So I am very excited to move and hopefully our next place really does feel like home wherever that might be. And I think that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for tuning in if you did. I hope this was somewhat interesting to you to see like my chaos and whatnot. Um, but I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye!